Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to learn about the Art History Brush. It's located with the History Brush over here in the Tools panel, shortcut Y. Um, when using the Art History Brush, you're going to see some unique things that it can do. Um, it's not limited to what I'm showing you. You can do a lot more. But um, it also refers to the History panel, both of them actually. And what it does is it refers to a state in order to paint or use from. And you can in, uh, this is shown, as you can see here, with this little symbol. Now, things that can trip up the Art History Brush are if you change from 16-bit to 8-bit, CMYK to RGB, um, changing the color space, or changing the size of the document. If you do that, you're going to have to create another snapshot from which to use, just to let you know ahead of time. So let's go ahead and use it. Now, we have these delicious bowl of peaches provided by Favum, because who else, who, who wouldn't like peaches, right? So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to right-click. I'm going to reset my tool. And then I'm going to choose, let's say, some options here. Let's try tight curl long. I don't know what that is, but we can try. I'm going to increase my brush size by pressing the right bracket key. And let's see what it does. OK. So as you can see here, it, it does some mixing. OK, that's nice, but you're probably saying, OK, next tool. So let me go back to the history panel and go to the snapshot, which is right here. You can create a new snapshot by pressing here, just to let you know. And let's try reducing the brush size this time. Maybe that'll help. OK, maybe not. Let me go back. Let me try a different one, maybe tight curl. OK, if you're into that now, let's try dab. OK, Dab does a little bit more interesting. It seems like you can get a more painterly effect with it. That's interesting. OK, so Dab might be an option. Let me go back. Let me try maybe Tight Medium and see what happens. When I try Tight Medium, OK, see now we're getting some better options here. As you can see, when I'm painting over, all you do is just click and hold and drag, and then just paint along this. And I have a semi-painting just like that in a matter of seconds. Now, this isn't the greatest, but we can see how, how can we improve on this. First thing is we can go back to the history state. We can put a new layer. We can fill it with white. And as you see here, my background layer, oh, oh my, the color picker, it's the background. So a shortcut would be control backspace to fill it with white. I can reduce the opacity so we can see those peaches. There we go. And let's choose a different brush. So now I'm going to click on this brushes panel here because you're not limited to the brushes that you see. You can do anything you want. And let's choose a brush. So let me choose maybe this bristle brush and see what happens. OK, so obviously, that's maybe not what I want. All right, let me move down. Try this one right here and see what happens. OK, oh, excuse me. This is what happens. This is why you need to create an action to do this quickly instead of going over here, filling it, backspace, and reduce opacity. You can make an action for that to save you some time. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint along. OK. The smaller the brush, the tighter the control. All right, maybe leave some spaces open to make it look, you know. All right, and I can choose on here. As we do this quickly. All right, I continued my painting, and there we have some, a couple peaches here on a separate layer. So let's try something else. OK, what I've done is I actually went into the brush panel. I went to right click and I choose it. Um, I choose to <laughs> choose it. Excuse me. I went into the brush presets and then I chose a, um, a certain brush. I believe it was uh, sorted brushes. No, it was full face finish brushes. Go click on the brush tab here and let me close this. And then we can paint here and we can see it's a little bit more realistic now. Okay, I'm going to pause this and paint it real quick. So as we can see here, with just a few um, touches with the Art History Brush, we can create some amazing paintings. Yeah, this could obviously be better improved, 
but you're not limited um, with the art history brush. You can open up the brushes panel and then do a whole lot of things that you can't even begin to imagine. And you can use pass and um, um, stroke the pass and play with that also. In our next lesson, we're going to talk about the mixer brush.